Do you remember when Arena in Sea of Thieves was first announced? Many thought it would be a battle royale, since at the time, battle royale titles were a big subject of 2018. That year also saw the birth of a unique take on battle royale games, Blazing Sails. Yes, Blazing Sails was announced 10 months before Arena was released in Sea of Thieves. We love both games, and both belong to the same family and player base. If you want more details about that and how Blazing Sails came to life, check out Captain Falcor's video in the description below. I will show you basics on how Blazing Sails works. Currently only available on Steam, by understanding game mechanics, portals, and ship upgrades, this video will cover everything you need to know towards your first battle. During my Blazing Sails stream and giveaway, many of you asked me for a guide, and this is it. Fuzzy here, bringing you honest guides and gameplays, so sit back, relax, and enjoy. Like every battle royale game, you will load into a pre-game state after choosing your server from the list. The same map, but no damage can be done. This place allows you to collect some weapons and supplies to try out different game mechanics. You cannot take these resources with you into the game. Also, you can get your friends to join your crew. You can invite them to party before the game starts, or from in-game by pressing F and choosing the flag. They can join you by approaching it and pressing E. The countdown timer will start as soon as two teams load into the pre-game, then let the fun begin. The first thing you see is the map, several clusters. Click on whichever one you want to vote for your ship's start's location. Before you set sail, you will need some supplies, as your ship starts empty. Supplies can be found on islands, either randomly scattered or inside the larger brown crates. You can break these crates by hitting them with a melee weapon on the third slot. First, you have the spyglass. You can use that by pressing B and check the horizon. When looking at the hotbar, you can carry one item of each. Rifles or longer range weapons go on the first slot, handguns on the second, melee on the third, battle drink, which is health, on the fourth, and the hammer is on the fifth. This one is used for repairing your ship, so it's always there. For example, if you pick a shovel, it will replace the broken glass bottle on the third slot. So choose your weapons wisely. Now you are on the island, you get some resources, weapons and ammo. You can head back to your ship by running there or if you see the ship holograms, press Q to teleport back to your ship. Now this works anywhere, but the portals make it charge much faster to send you back to your ship or to other locations on the map depending on the portal. You will see a deposit box on your ship's bottom deck. By approaching that and pressing E, everything will be deposited for you and the crew to use. If you look around, battle drinks on the shelves, wood in the barrels, ammo in the ammo box, and cannon ammunition on the back shelf. Whenever you need any of that, head there and spam E to pick how many you want. You'll need to have resources on your character to use, for example. Pick up wood to repair, it's not automatically collected from the ship, but make sure not to take more than you need, as your character loses all supplies upon death and drops a death box for other players to collect and laugh at you. Before we move to top deck, there are things you need to keep your ship afloat. A pump for removing water from the hull and a cork. Yes, a cork. I mean, Sea of Thieves has a flamethrower in a pirate game. Why can't this have a cork? The cork is the heart of your ship. Someone might board to sneak in there and unplug it. You'll have to eliminate them and plug it back in before it's too late. The top left corner will glow in red if your ship receives damage or fills up with water by showing the water level. So if you are the bilge rat, keep an eye on that. On the top deck, you have a few areas to interact with. Pulleys on the right side to control sails, length and angle, wheel to steer the ship, and drop anchor. You can do that by pressing space while grabbing the wheel. You can also go to the crow's nest from the left side rope. Of course, you raise the capstan by interacting with it, then walking forward. The more help, the faster it is raised. Speaking of help, Let's assume your crew is actually useful. If you need them to help you erase the capstan or do anything on the ship, press C and choose the right command. After collecting ammunition, cannons are self-explanatory. Press space to load and pick your ammunition type by choosing between A and D. More about ammunition types and advanced weapons in another video. 
Now last, but not least, and this is an important thing to know. While searching for supplies and islands, you will come across treasure chests that will contain higher tier and a more considerable amount of goodies. Sometimes they will include colored, smaller crates. These are ship upgrades and are very essential. You can also find them scattered around islands, but a higher chance in these golden shinies. To apply them to your ship, stand next to the part you need to upgrade. Press tab to open your inventory and right click on the upgrade to apply. You have a silver and gold upgrades after the basic ones. For the cannons, faster reload time and for the capstan, faster to raise and the wheel easier to turn. Now that's not all, you can also add more cannons to your ship, the swivel cannons. If you get swivel cannons upgrade, it's a smaller cannon that only takes standard cannonballs and you have three spots to equip that, back of the ship, front left and front right. There is way more to blazing sails than this, but I'm keeping it simple so you can know your first steps. And if you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing. Just like Sea of Thieves, I will also be creating basic and advanced guides for blazing sails and even other games. Thank you for watching and happy sailing!